Well, Jeff, how'd the guys move around today? They're excited. You know, they are. I know I say that almost every time we're out there, but, man, they like to practice football. And who couldn't have it? 65 degrees this morning. It was beautiful. I had a beautiful sunrise. And, and uh, kids love football. They like to practice. And uh, they, were, they were flying around like they always are for us. What was your message to them this morning about Western Kentucky? Uh, they've just been winning longer than we've been playing. I mean, those guys, they've got a great program, a great tradition. they got a great crowd. Uh, they've been doing it right for a long time. And, uh, and they were winning national championships before we were, you know, created. And uh, it was an idea in somebody's mind, thank goodness, or we wouldn't be here today. Uh, but they've got a great program. We have a lot of respect for them. And our, our kids know. It feels like rinse and repeat. Uh, you know, UNLV was maybe better than their record. Maybe WKU is the same thing this week. There's no maybe. They are. I mean, if we, uh, and I wouldn't try to be disrespectful of any at all, it's just if we played that record or that schedule, I don't know what we'd be. I mean, Michigan State's really, really good. They had 190 yards in the first quarter. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I mean, um, Bailey's been through for 576, I think, on Texas Tech last year at an LCS school. I mean, so he's legit. And those receivers he brought with him, they're legit. Uh, they're really – it's the best offense we've gone against since we've been here. And uh, it, it's going to be a heck of a test for us. Do you expect to see the focus from your players just continue to heighten as you get into the meat of the conference season here? Does that change anything? No, I mean, obviously it does, but it shouldn't change us. I mean, that's what we're committed to every day. Just so have us the culture pillow this week is win the day. Well, that's really ours every day. That's what. That's really what the whole deal is. It's just we're at the end of it right now, and uh, of our, as we go through it, and we'll start back over with integrity next week, and we'll go right back to it one more time, right? So uh, it shouldn't, but we are humans, and we have emotion, and we understand stuff. So you know, road games are just different. They're different because you're by yourself. I mean, you just, you know, it's such a great feeling because uh, you're just, it's human nature. You know, when, when all you got is what you got, you, you, you get really close. And there'll be 70 on that plane for the first time because we're in a conference travel game, so that's the smallest we've traveled. And uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a great thrill. It really is because it's just such a bonding experience that it's undescribable unless you've been a part of it. It was interesting to hear you say yesterday that you thought Saturday's game was the best you'd seen Frank Harris play since you'd coached him. What were the differences? He's just got such confidence now in the throws that he makes. I mean, that sail cut he threw to Josh Cephas, I mean, he was covered. I mean, he just threw a great tight spiral. And so many of those were difficult throws. And he just, and he's, he's always had the ability to uh, be a great athlete and make some stuff happen. Uh, but where he's been challenged through his career is just sitting in there going through his progression because he's such a good athlete. He's such a good athlete. Why not just leave the pocket and make everybody miss. And uh, he's just done a better job of hanging in there, reading it correctly, and hitting the right guy on time. And uh, he's worked hard for it. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy for him. We're not all the way there. Uh, there's still another level he can get to, and he knows that. And um, I would never bet against him. Hey, Coach, whether it's the pizza or the tequilas for the students, the students continue to come out for you every weekend. What's your message to the students out there? Uh, they're awesome. Uh, man, they've been great. And. Uh, I, next time, instead of me asking them all their names and are they going to come to the game, there's two things. I got to remind them the game is free. I had some kids tell me they didn't know the game was free, so I got to make sure and get that to them. And then I got to make sure they know that when we have the ball, uh, we got to get really quiet, like really quiet. I mean, the, the one time we did jump down there, you can see our, our student section was going nuts. We just made a great play, got down there. Everybody's excited. You can see my offense trying to give them, them their ball snout, and we got a, a circus. But we also made UNLV have three of those as well. Uh, so we'll trade three for one. And I'm not being uh, negative at all. Uh, those, you ask me what I tell them, and I'm grateful. The games are free. Be quiet when we have the ball. Frank, Frank said that in post game. I thought maybe he was joking, but maybe he was actually being. No, you got to learn that stuff. You just have to learn. When's the last time our student body's been coming to the games? It's been a while, right? So they don't know. They're just glad to be there. They're having a great time, They're having fun. I don't blame them. Watching our kids go down the field, I'd be excited too. It's just you can imagine all the communication that has to go on out there. And when it's that loud, it's just it's hard. And that's why it's going to be hard on us this week. When we go on the road, it's just it's deafening if you're down there on that field. I asked you about Adrian Taylor a little bit yesterday, but we didn't touch on the leadership part. Sort of how does he relate to his teammates, or what do you see from him in that sense? Um, well, you know, when you practice that hard, you get unbelievable respect. He never takes a playoff, ever. So the whole team has a great respect uh, for Day Day, and uh, as I do. I mean, he just – if everybody's like him, we'd never lose a game. Coaching would be literally like I can just go out there and yawn and throw the ball out there and we could all go home because he's just self-motivated. 
great pride. Uh, I know he's small, but man, he plays hard. He's ex I can't tell you how many times Saturday I was like, man, we're in trouble. They've got us. And all of a sudden he split a double team or run around somebody and grab him by their shoe and they're on the ground. You're like, my gosh, that kid's unbelievable. Jeff, we didn't see uh, Clifford Chapman play this last game. Can you give us an update on his status? Yeah, it's going to be day to day with him as well. Um, we hope he's out there Saturday. We just don't know just quite yet. Hey Coach, can you talk about Jamal Small? I mean, Sam, uh, he he, uh, I mean, he came out this past weekend and, and really showed what he's worth. So just wanted to get your thoughts. Yeah, he's had the injury bug, you know, all fall camp, and you know, we finally got him healthy, and we got him out there, and. Uh, we do call him Small for his nickname, uh, so you're good there. Um, he's a really good football player, um, and his interception didn't surprise me at all. Uh, his deal's been paying attention to the little things, the details off the field. He's got all that cleaned up in his life right now, and he's healthy right now. So if he continues to do that, you'll continue to see him out there on the field. Jeff, is that the key matchup in this game, that secondary going up against his quarterback? You know, at the end of the day, it all sounds great, and I agree with you, we can get technical, but it's going to be, you know, they're going to have us at times. If the box is too light, they're going to hand it off, and they're going to have numbers. Can we defeat a double team? Uh, when we got too many guys in there, they're going to throw it out there. So they're going to have more guys than we got again. Can we defeat a double team? At the end of the day, in these big ball games, it's going to come down to blocking, tackling, who takes the ball away, who protects the football. Yeah, we, we can talk about schemes, play calling, poor coaching, great coaching. When you go back and study the video, that's what it's going to be. I know it sounds like this one, Barty, but blocking, tackling, take the ball, protect the ball. Thank y'all. Thanks, Thanks, Jeff. Jeff.